Hello and welcome to another episode of Bangladesh Today. The bilateral trade relationship between India and Bangladesh is currently of special interest to both countries. In Bangladesh, there are concerns in some quarters about the constant and increasing bilateral trade deficit with India and from the large volumes of informal imports from India across the land border, which bypass Bangladeshi import duties. India sees closer economic integration with Bangladesh as part of its Look East policy and also as means of reducing the economic and political isolation of the seven eastern and northeastern states from the rest of the country. Both India and Bangladesh have long shared common objectives for closer economic integration within the South Asian region. The visit of the Bangladeshi Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina to India in 2010 and the reciprocal visit of Dr. Manmohan Singh to Dhaka in 2011 gave the much needed fillip to economic ties between the two nations. Since 1996-97, Indian exports to Bangladesh have been growing at 9.1% annually, but India's imports from Bangladesh over the same period have grown on an average at only 3% annually compared to an average growth of its total imports of 9.2%. Consequently, Bangladesh's bilateral trade deficit with India has been increasing rapidly, on an average at about 9.5% annually. However, the bilateral trade deficit narrowed for the first time in the fiscal year 2005-06 when Bangladesh's exports rose to 242 million US dollars from 144 million US dollars in the previous year, while India's exports fell to 1.8 billion US dollars from 2 billion US dollars. I think the uh, present business relationship between Bangladesh and India uh, is a um, growing quite uh, significantly for, for three reasons. In recent times, India and Bangladesh have been opening up their, their economies. And number two is, the, uh, is that the political um, environment between the uh, two countries uh, has also improved quite significantly. And the third, that there is a growing recognition in Bangladesh that India will be a major power in the 21st century and Bangladesh should take advantage of that. Bangladesh's uh, import from India was about 830 million dollars in, in the year 2000 and uh, in 2010-11 uh, it was uh, about 4570 million dollars. Our exports to India also increased uh, from about 65 million dollar to about 510 million dollar uh, in these uh, 10 years. So uh, both the export and import of Bangladesh uh, have been increasing. Uh, but uh, this also uh, tells us that the bilateral trade deficit is quite significant, about uh, $4 billion, $4,000 million. And uh, it, is difficult, it will be difficult for Bangladesh uh, to reduce this, uh, this uh, deficit significantly if we can't um, expand our exports um, uh, in a, in a, at a very fast pace. Uh, so uh, for Bangladesh, the, the trick of the trade will be, in fact, to expand our export to India, to diversify our export. And I think uh, there is an opportunity to do that because India has also provided uh, in recent times uh, duty-free access for all Bangladeshi products to India. And uh, we have been able to um, take advantage of uh, the, the accelerated imports uh, that we see India in, in India. Uh, so I think uh, it will be uh, important for Bangladesh. At the turn of the decade in the 21st century, the bilateral trade gap of Bangladesh with India was 4.08 billion US dollars, with Indian exports amounting for 4.5 billion US dollars. During this period, Bangladesh imported goods worth 4.59 billion US dollars, while it exported only 512 million US dollars worth of goods to India. Financial analysts said that despite Bangladesh's gradual increase of export to India, trade deficit between the two countries doubled in just five years, reflecting a galloping economic imbalance. During her visit to New Delhi in 2010, Bangladeshi Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina and her Indian counterpart Dr. Manmohan Singh had agreed to set up an inland container terminal 
costing some 36 million dollars with Indian assistance at Ashu Ganj. Under the water transit protocol between the two South Asian nations, over 1 million tons of inter-country cargo and about 10,000 tons of transit cargo are shipped every year. The process of selection of a consultant for preparation of a detailed project report for construction of an inland container terminal at Ashuganj is still underway. Measures such as elimination of tariffs and non-tariffs restriction at the unilateral, bilateral and regional levels have made India the largest trading partner of Bangladesh in South Asia. There has been some development uh, in recent times, particularly after our Prime Minister visited Delhi uh, in January 2010 and not to mention also the return visit by India's Prime Minister Manmohan Singh to Dhaka last year. Uh, and this relates to uh, minimizing the number of items uh, from the negative list. So there has been some uh, improvement in the balance on trade, uh, but still uh, we have long way to go. And uh, but as I said, uh, maybe over the years, uh, if the current trend continues, uh, then I believe we will see some positive development. The only drawback we still have uh, is. Um, uh, although the agreements uh, have helped to boost uh, Bangladesh's trade relatively uh, to that of India's, uh, but uh, the non-traditional barriers are still there. Uh, and unless and until the non-traditional barriers are tackled uh, in big way, um, I don't think uh, the development, the kind of development that we are looking for will happen. But as I said, uh, there has been some improvement in the, uh, in the economic uh, area, particularly on trade, uh, not to mention on some of the items that we sell between Bangladesh and India. Ever since Bangladesh's independence, there's been a substantial informal unrecorded trade across the India-Bangladesh land borders. Much of this trade is quasi-legal and is best characterized as informal rather than illegal because there is a wide participation by local people in the border areas and the trade generally bypasses customs posts. Hence, to give some kind of an order to this unaccounted trade, a number of border hearts or border markets are going to be set up. The border hearts quite naturally will be set up along the boundaries. These are expected to witness bilateral trade worth 20 million US dollars every year, once all of them become operational. The first such border heart was set up at Kalaichar in West Garo Hills district of Meghalaya last year. Dhaka and New Delhi are keen to set up eight more border markets along the India-Bangladesh border in the northeastern states. These markets are to be set up within five kilometers of either side of the international border. The border hearts would be allowed to sell local agricultural and horticultural products, small agriculture and household goods, spices, minor forest products, fresh and dry fish, dairy and poultry products, cottage industry items, wood furniture, handloom and handicraft items, garments, melamine products, processed food items, fruit juice, toiletries, cosmetics, plastic products, aluminium products and cooked items. No local tax would be imposed on the trading and both Indian as well as Bangladeshi currencies will be accepted. Of course, because of the fact that uh, Bangladesh is surrounded by India from all three sides, it is very pertinent that there will be border trade between the two countries. And uh, it is pertinent to have border trade officially formalized in order to conduct the border trade. And that is why we have this border hut, which is, uh, in other words, it could be called in as a border exchange. Uh, currently, uh, with uh, what we have on, on the papers right now is per person can do a transaction of up to $50 per day, which is now being enhanced to $100 per day. Even at uh, $50 per day, these border trades were targeted to uh, bring in a revenue of $20 million. 
So if you can imagine if it's only one border hut that can actually, or the two border hut that has been approved so far, if the government is targeting $20 million per annum in revenue out of these two huts, imagine what other possibilities would open up. Garments which made up 18 billion US dollars of Bangladesh's record 23 billion US dollars exports in the previous financial year offer a crucial lifeline to the low-lying Delta nation. In September last year, the Indian government extended duty-free access for 46 Bangladeshi textile goods to India, which resulted in 80 to 90 percent increase in import of Bangladeshi garment products. Today, we have been exporting 19 billion dollar from the RMG, which is about consists of 80 percent of our total export earning. At the same time. 80%, 3.5 million people are directly working in this sector. 80% of them are the women. The recent fire at a garment factory which left over 100 dead has dented the most prosperous industry of the country. Working conditions at Bangladeshi factories are notoriously poor with little enforcement of safety laws and overcrowding and locked fire doors are common. The fire broke out in this garment factory and the moment we have received the information, the fire brigade teams, the fire units rushed to the spot along with the other law enforcing agencies came here and we could control the fire as soon as possible but yet uh, the death toll uh, is significant, I must say. Uh, we are now recovering the dead bodies and trying to hand them over to their respective victim families following the due procedure. Bangladesh has around 4,500 garment factories and is the world's biggest exporter of clothing after China, with garments making up 80% of its 24 billion US dollars annual exports. More than 300 factories near the capital shut down for almost a week earlier this year as workers demanded higher wages and better working conditions. I think what is important is both the countries should realize uh, that uh, not to put too much eggs on the trade uh, and commerce, uh, but to go into production in, in partnership. Uh, the greater uh, the production in partnership, joint production uh, in where Bangladesh and Indian capital together. Uh, that way, I believe uh, the, uh, there's a, a tremendous potential uh, for these two countries uh, to uh, develop their economic relationship uh, and also not to mention uh, getting rid of the imbalance that we have with India. Unless that kind of joint partnership is, is developed and, and we can start thinking uh, of that uh, by keeping Northeast in mind, because if Northeast needs to be developed, I, be, I believe a joint uh, partnership in production between India and Bangladesh, where uh, industries or manufacturing units are built in Bangladesh, uh, which uh, the products can go to Northeast or to different countries of the world. Uh, in that way, I believe uh, Bangladesh can minimize uh, the kind of trade imbalance that it has now with India. Trade relations between India and Bangladesh have moved steadily along and would obtain greater and more secure economic benefits by giving priority to personal economic stability rather than by pursuing free trade agreements. This does not mean that other cooperative endeavours should be neglected. Facilitating bilateral trade and reducing its cost would help reduce black economic activities in both countries associated with smuggling routes and improve fiscal resources, especially in Bangladesh. That's all we have for you in this episode of Bangladesh Today. Thank you for watching.
between India and Bangladesh is currently of special interest to both countries. In Bangladesh, there are concerns in some quarters about the constant and increasing bilateral trade deficit with India and from the large volumes of informal imports from India across the land border, which bypass Bangladeshi import duties. India sees closer economic integration with Bangladesh as part of its Look East policy and also as means of reducing the economic and political isolation. trade deficit with India has been increasing rapidly, on an average at about 9.5% annually. However, the bilateral trade deficit narrowed for the first time in the fiscal year 2005-06 when Bangladesh's exports rose to 242 million US dollars from 144 million US dollars in the previous year, while India's exports fell to 1.8 billion US dollars from 2 billion US dollars. Since 1996-97, Indian exports to Bangladesh have been growing at 9.1% annually, but India's imports from Bangladesh over the same period have grown on an average at only 3% annually, compared to an average growth of its total imports of 9.2%. Consequently, Bangladesh's bilateral Hello and welcome to another episode of Bangladesh Today. The bilateral trade relationship between the relation of the seven eastern and northeastern states from the rest of the country. Both India and Bangladesh have long shared common objectives for closer economic integration within the South Asian region. The visit of the Bangladeshi Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina to India in 2010 and the reciprocal visit of Dr. Manmohan Singh to Dhaka in 2011 gave the much-needed fillip to economic ties between the two nations. 